I'm giving you a brief preview of our 306 course that Caitlin will talk in much more depth about in just a couple of slides. Um, but what we created this course um, in, in partnership with Dr. Claiborne Carson, who you see reflected here on the left-hand slide, and he serves as the director of the MLK Junior Research Institute um, and was also commissioned by Coretta Scott, Scott King um, to write the biography of Martin Luther King Jr. So he is well steeped um, in African American history in addition to the civil rights movement, but well outside of that as well. And what he said was that we must empower a new generation to embrace, embrace this history and use it as an impetus for their own personal motivation and success. And so what you're going to see as I, as I start to transition over to Caitlin is that black history, one, yes, is very much an empowerment mechanism for students who come from this shared identity to understand how their history ties into the larger American narrative and story, and also how this is an important part of history for students writ large to understand the narrative, um, to find motivation, success, resilience, and grit out of all that the African American narrative has to offer. And so I'll just transition to the next slide as it, to reinforce that point just a little bit. Um, what we found from students who participated in and, and completed the African American History Course uh, 306 is that there was an increase in traits around conscientious citizenship. And so I'll take a step back and say, oftentimes when we think about Black history, think about it possibly in a siloed context of Black History Month in February, or maybe even back that up a little bit to January, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, but there is utility in understanding and teaching African American history all across the calendar year. And certainly as students are returning to, court, to class now, um, that conversation in the context of the last few months is even more heightened, is even more desired. And there's a double line benefit around teaching black history that you see outlined here, is that not only do you understand um, un, not, not doing under, under, understand and value how African American history is a part of the American American history narrative, but there's also an increase in traits of conscientious citizenship, um, where students are learning about African American history. They say that it's also important for them to step in and be a part of solving today's societal problems. And also of the students who took the course and after the survey said they value American history, African American history, they are also 60% more likely to intend to vote. And so by understanding, by participating in and valuing Black history, students are more prone to, to participate in the democratic process as conscientious and global citizens. And so that really sets the stage for us to talk more deeply about how we get there um, and, and what our African American history course has to offer in terms of cultivating those traits and characteristics um, and, and finding ways to create that dialogue. And so